Inside each duelist, there are two wolves dueling for dominance. One is going first, but he drew only hand traps. The second is going second, but he did not draw any hand traps at all. You just brick. This deck is illegal in three states. Welcome to another video. Today we are playing the Unchained, which is all about having two wolves in the deck. The new red wolf and the new blue, blue wolf. So, let's show it off. And what am I playing? Of course, you know me. We're testing it out with adventure. Um, but hold on a second. Opponent just uh, deleted our adventure with a uh, old sneaky hand trap you don't see too often. The Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So, looks like we're going to be setting. Now, Unchained is all about popping your own cards and summoning Unchained from the deck. And if you think that sounds familiar, that's because it's very similar to dinosaurs. Although, I will let you know, it is a very unique playstyle. The Unchained are all about Link Summoning using your opponent's monsters as material. And hopefully, you get a chance to, to see right now opponent playing some sort of nonsense punk combo. We're going to fire off this Max C. Um, we have only an Imperm set as Interaction. Right now, these two Unchained Traps do literally nothing. But maybe the, un the uh, Max C will let us draw into something good if opponent lets us keep drawing, of course. Opponent going into the punk now. If you're playing against... The old punks. What do you what do you use your imperm on? Well, I usually use an imperm on this purple fish, the unchained carp. Its effect is quite good. But hey, what do you know? We drew into the Griffin Rider because we have the adventure token. We have a negate now, so we can negate the effect of the punk with our imperm. Sounds good. Opponent activating a Fenrir in response to our summon of the Griffin Rider. All right, we could negate. The Fenrir with our Griffin Rider, but instead, let's negate the Fenrir with our Imperm, keep the Griffin Rider online, and now when a Pokemon opponent activates this Rising Carp, we got another negate. Now, don't you worry, this is just adventure, and adventure is here, you know, to give decks a fighting chance. When they don't have negates, this deck doesn't really make a lot of negates. It can, alright? It can. We'll talk about that in a bit. When opponent goes to battle, pops our token, so now we don't have a negate anymore. And they're going to keep comboing under the max C with no battle phase. So they can't get lethal. See how many cards they choose to give. Opponent. Summoning. Going into the jam session. Getting that jam session and they are not stopping. This is a mad lad over here. First day playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Never seen this card called max C before. Who knows what it does. Maybe draws a billion cards. We'll just have to find out. Opponent. Summoning the additional punk. And it's only a matter of time before we draw some Unchained cards that actually do something. We'll see. Hold on a second. What is this? Our set Abominable Chamber of the Unchained lets us special summon an Unchained monster from our hand or graveyard. We drew into an Unchained Twins Aruha, so let's get summoning that onto the field. I'm sure this is going to do something, don't you worry. Opponent, going to keep summoning, is never time to stop. There is never a correct time to stop summoning. But, what opponent doesn't know is they have two tuners on the field and a non-tuner that I'm guessing they're going to try and synchro summon into. So, let's activate this escape of the Unchained, the Unchained Escape, and start popping. This card lets us pop an Unchained and a card opponent controls. We're going to pop their tuner. This monster is going to come back from the graveyard or does other nonsense in the graveyard. We don't care about that. We're going to pop their tuner. They got one other tuner. But luckily, we also drew into this abominable Unchained Soul. And... When we pop our Unchained Twins, it lets us summon an Unchained from the deck. We, we actually wanted to summon this from the deck. We got in the hand. So let's summon a different one from the deck. Summon the one from the hand for free because a card got popped. It gets special summon for free. Summon it from the hand. Summon from the deck the Unchained Soul of Sharvara, the new blue doggo. This is the one of our two wolves. When this is summoned, we can activate effect, discard a card, destroy a card on the field. Let's pop their other tuner. Opponent, your tunas are gone. They also are playing adventure, but they activated an effect of a normal summon monster this turn, so they are not going to be doing any adventure right now. Again, the Griffin Rider, discard an effect Veiler, activating the Cast Shura Rice Heart to give us an additional card. And get a Draco back that they cannot use. Opponent. Going to Banish to banish the top three cards of our deck, luckily. Not hitting anything too important. We got lots of duplicates. And going into a Cast Shura Shangri Era as their backup plan. Alright. Well. What do we do now? Opponent's got a Bishul in the hand. What can Unchained do now that we have our turn? Let's find out. Opponent. 
Hackbank capture a Shangri Era to get the Nightmare Unicorn. 53% win rate. Let's link off our board right away. Into the Unchained Soul of Anguish. Anguish gonna activate and yoink the Shangri Era. Stop him from locking our zones. Opponent, no more zone locking for you. Get our one of copy of the Unchained Abomination. Big Doggo is here. Opponent responding with a cash tier unicorn, taking a look at our extra deck. We got a lot of duplicates of all our important pieces. All our important unchains are duplicates. So opponent's just gonna take get rid of Zeus. You know what, opponent? We didn't even need Zeus. You're not gonna get a second main phase for us to summon Zeus in anyway. Let's activate the effect of our Abomination's Prison to add an unchained card from our deck to our hand, getting our boy the Dago Unchained Soul of Sharvara. Set an unchained trap. Escape of the Unchained Part 2. Pop it with our Doggo Boy, trigger it to summon an Unchained from the deck, and trigger our Unchained Abomination because we destroyed a card. We get to pop another card on the field. Let's just pop that Fateful Venture. Opponent, gonna Drew a Swarm. They think they can stop us by banishing our soul from the graveyard. Summoning a Drew a Swarm. And what does Drew a Swarm do? Everyone remembers, all right? This is the one where if it goes to the graveyard, you can target a special summon monster, opponent controls, and send it to the graveyard. We don't want that to happen. So we're gonna play around it. Summon from the deck the Unchained Soul of Disaster. That lets us target a monster opponent controls and link summon it into a Muckwrecker. Muckwrecker. Gonna... Hold on a second, opponent. I'm trying to pop with the Druid Swarm. Luckily, we have this Call by the Grave to negate. Banish and negate. No popping, no sending for you. Our Doggo Boy is safe. Now we can activate our Muckwrecker. Muckwrecker lets us target a Fiend in the graveyard, discard a card. Summon that Fiend. Get discard an Unchained Soul. Summon that Abominable Unchained. We activate on the last turn. Let's activate on this turn. Discard a card, pop a card. Get popping. Go into the battle phase. Attack, destroy a card. Because a card got destroyed, our Doggo Boy gets a target card on the field, destroy it. Once by effect, once by battle. Let's pop that Cash Tira and get in for lethal damage. That's right, Unchained. It's pretty good. Let's go on to the next game. All right, now if you think we just won because of Maxi, don't you worry. This deck is not just a Maxi engine. We got some powerful plays. Make sure to stick around and subscribe so we'll have more quality content in the future. But first, we got to negate. Opponent going first, playing Trap Tricks. If you got some spicy Unchained builds, you let me know. Now, there is a card that I'm not playing the deck. I actually crafted, but I took it out to fit the Adventure Engine in, and that is the combo with the um, the tour guide. Tour guide combo. Let's use special summon from the deck. A fiend, a level three, and a wombo combo from there. But um, I decided to take that out because it's pretty bad against Max C. Also pretty weak going second. And in exchange, we put the whole adventure engine in, which has a fiend monster, which you may have seen if you were uh, paying attention in the first replay. But we'll see if we can show it off opponent. Pac-Man tears of the Oberoot. On our right activation, not sure if that's the right play, but they're going to send our right to the graveyard and make us set the Imperm. This doesn't really do anything to stop the right, so don't really know why they did that. Point of adventure in this deck is really just like with any deck I run adventure in to force interaction. Unchained doesn't really normal summon effect activate very often unless you're playing the build with tour guide, so we cut tour guide to play adventure. And we'll see how it works. Opponent set an anti-spell fragrance with their Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Summoning a Trap Tricks Merlio from the deck. Pop in the Fateful Venture. Set in a Floodgate Trap Hole. Opponent probably thinks they're doing hot, but we got the Draco back. Not only do we force one piece of interaction already, we get to force a second piece with the Draco back. Opponent popped our Fateful, and now we got Draco back. We can bounce a card to the hand. Bounce their one back row that's still activatable. We're going to summon our Unchained Twins. Can't activate because we activated the effect of our... Red of Air's Mirror. Can't activate the effect of a normal zone monster. What we can do is go to battle. And that is going to activate the Unchained Twins in the graveyard effect to special summon an Unchained from the deck. Because it got destroyed, let's get our Unchained Soul a disaster. Hit that, Sarah. Main phase two, Unchained Soul. Yoink. Good old yoink of that Lord of the Heavenly Prison into a Doggo Boy, and then link again into a Soul of Anguish. Yoink again, the Trap Tricks Merlio into an Unchained Abomination. You're loving it. Sets him back row. In the end phase, because we control Doggo Boy, we get to pop a card on the field. Let's get popping. Pop that Floodgate Trap Hole and pass the opponent. 
opponent. What are you going to do? Anti-spell Fragrance. A bit late for that. Um, Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Going to activate and summon itself. And opponent is done. They know. Doggo Boy. Too strong. Love to see it. Let's go on to the next game. On to the next game. We got a great hand with Adventure and some Unchained pieces. And Unchained very strong, the Unchained Souls. Just summoning itself by popping a card, a set card you control or an Unchained you control is really good. And also quite versatile. Opponent going first plane stun. Um, or Thunder Dragons. I guess we'll find out. Opponent. Activating a Dimensional Fisher, Stopping us from sending cards to the graveyard. Luckily, the Unchanged trigger on being destroyed, so even if they get banished, they still trigger um, if they're destroyed. So, that's good news. We can play through the Dimensional Fissure a little bit. Aloof Lupine, Banishing a Thunder Dragon Dark and a Batterman Solar. Gonna get a Thunder Dragon Fusion. Get Thunder Dragon Fusion into a Dragon Dark. Gonna go into the Colossus, which is actually pretty rough. Colossus stops you adding cards to the hand except by drawing them, which means Adventure Engine will not be able to search any of its key pieces. We got Negate in hand, but not big enough to get over the Colossus, so what do we do? Well, right now I'm thinking we set summon our Doggo Boy Pop, get the Unchained, Linkify the Thunder Colossus into our own monster, Yoink it, um, and then just kind of play into the D Fisher power through, you know. But uh, we draw something even better. Let's Imperm the Colossus. And now, we can adventure it up. Get adventure in. Get our token. Get our fateful. Now, this deck locks you into fiends, so you gotta be careful what you're doing, alright? We have Griffin Rider, but we also have an additional unchained, or sorry, an additional adventure monster. Let's start by bouncing that back to the hand. Set activate our Doggo Boy. And opponent knows it's done. With their Floodgate defeated, they are out of here. We were gonna search for our other adventure that lets us bounce two cards back to the hand. That would have been pretty sweet. And we're going to summon our Unchains, do full Unchained combo, but opponent can't handle it. Let's go on to the next game. On to the next game. If you want to play the version with the um, the old combo with the tour guide, you let me know. I can revisit this deck. We can come back, look at that combo, because it is obviously quite strong. Let's you set up some negates. Let's you set up your link plays. Um, adventure Engine is my preferred way to play a lot of decks because adventure just so good going first and going second whereas you know first tile you know if you're doing a normal summon combo um like the old tour guide you're gonna get negated a lot you're gonna get hit by ashes imperms um maxis and you're gonna be really sad um yeah so opponent going first making an invoke mecha which is one negate and setting one back row maxi or raven just in time let's fire off our old adventure package with the foolish burial also, you can use Foolish Barrel to send your Unchained, Blue Unchained Doggo to the Graveyard, which has a Graveyard effect. Let's start adventuring. Opponent gonna Ash Blossom our adventure. Luckily, we got another one in the hand. Opponent doesn't know. We have a second adventure in the hand. Let's activate our Faithful. Activate our right. Opponent gonna use their Negate on the adventure, discarding Triple Tactics Talent. All right. Well, Opponent, adventure dealt with two of your pieces of interaction. Let's try and show you how Unchained does. Unchained pop the trap. Summon the Unchained Twins. Pop, activate the Abominable Chamber. Get searching with a Fateful. Fateful gonna get this Draco back not useful right now. We're gonna summon the Doggo Boy. Link a off into the Unchained Soul. The new card, Link 2, lets us add an Unchained card to our hand, but opponent has the Imperm. In the graveyard, our Doggo Boy activated. He's going to let us set an Unchained card to our field. Negate the search to the hand. Activate the set. Escape. Escape is here. Target a card opponent controls. Target another card. Destroy it. And hey, what do you know? Unchained secret move. We have Faithful Adventure activation still. Let's activate discard. Our Draco back. Normal special summon. Our Water Enchantress. And go into the Unchained Soul of Anguish. Pop, sorry, Yoinkify, the Invoke Mechaba, making that Unchained Soul of Rage. And we don't have a way to push for very much damage here. We could have gone into the old Link 4 and started popping cards, but opponent doesn't have any cards to pop. So let's get that Unchained Soul and have some interaction ready on your opponent's turn. And that's the fun thing about this deck. This is not like an OTK deck. This is a grind your opponent out deck 
where you relink, steal their monsters, and play the grind game. So let's show off the grind game opponent. Summoning that Alistair again. We're going to fire off maximum C. Keep them on their toes. Opponent and get in there. Max C. We will not be keeping them on their toes. We're just going to have to use the Unchained to keep them on the toes. Opponent. Getting their Invocation. Activating their Invocation. Summoning. Uninvoke Mechaba. Now Invoke Mechaba has to discard a card of the same type in order to negate the effect. So we're going to just start by activating Unchained Soul. Try and Yoinkify. We don't know what opponent has. Opponent had a Nibiru. So we're going to respond with the Escape. Pop our monster. Pop their Unchained. Opponent. Get popped. Negate doesn't matter. Instead of getting Yoinkified, you got popped. And now our Unchained Soul of Rage got sent to the graveyard. That's going to trigger Unchained Soul. Add an Unchained back to the hand. And then we're going to Special Summon an Unchained to the field. Very cool. Add back the Doggo Boy. Special Summon. Of the other Doggo Boy. Opponent. Adding back their Alistair to the hand. But are they really going to do anything with it? They already normal summoned it. Opponent's out of hand traps. And we got everything we could ever need. Let's start by activating Water Enchantress. Get Enchantress in. Get our right. Activate the right. And that's an easy 4k damage. Plus 2.4. That is lethal. Get our Griffin Rider here. Discard our Unchained Doggle Boy. Activate his effect. Set an Escape. Special Summon our Griffin Rider Negate. And that is lethal damage. Opponent is done. Love to see it. Adventure Unchained is the way. Let's go on to the next game. On to the next game. We got an interesting hand. We got Adventure. We got Hand Traps. Actually, this is a pretty solid hand. Opponent going first, though, playing Gold Sark. Gold Sark Banishing. Despian Tragedy. You know this deck. Branded. Branded Despian have been around a long time. Still doing the same old. Activating their Branded Fusion. So we're going to hold our Ash Blossom for Branded Fusion. We'll see what they do. Ah, Luber the Boober. Adding the Branded Fusion to the hand. Activating the Branded Fusion from the hand. And that is getting Ash Blossomed. Opponent. No responses. Again, negated. Very good, very good. Um, punishing us with the Triple Tactics Drunk 2. That is... A big oof. But they're air ending the turn, so we stopped them. Alright. Let's see what we can do with our old adventure on chain. Opponent Ash Blossoming our adventure. That's pretty rough. We do not have a good way to start plays at the moment. We can summon our Unchained Twins and activate our Unchained Twins in the hand. Let's give up our normal summon. But we only got one of these Unchained Twins. And uh, this one. This of the, the third Unchained Twins, Sarama. Um, and it's important for extending in this combo. So uh, it's going to pop itself uh, with the effect of the other one. Summon the Doggo Boy. Get the Unchained Soul of Yama. We're going to set a card to the field. Add a card to the hand. Unchained it up. Get the Doggo Boy. Set the Escape. Pop the Escape. Activate the Escape effect in the graveyard. Summon the Unchained Soul of Disaster. Get Yoinkin. The Aluber the Boober. But sadly, because of opponent's negate, we are not able to get lethal. If we had adventure online also, easily lethal damage, but with our doggos, not currently lethal. I believe if we had an excess code talker, we may have been able, that's five, six, seven, still not lethal. So you let me know if there's a blink monster I should put in here to get pushing for additional damage. Keeping in mind, we are locked into fiends. So I think a lot of monsters are ruled out by that. Let's go to battle. Opponent also has the bistral. That's going to stop us from pushing any damage in. And uh, we can main phase 2. Get you in. You won't confide the Bishel. Get you won't confide. Make the Unchained Abomination, but our Unchained Abomination has nothing to pop, which means he is very sad. Set that negate. We got a Nibiru opponent adding a Bishel to the hand. Activating in the graveyard to re-get their old branded fusion. See if we can fight it off. Nibiru. Unchained, unchained, hand trap. Let's see if it's enough. Opponent. Fisher Drew Swarm. Benishing our monster to summon itself. Getting that Springins kit. Adding the Brandon Red to the hand. We're saving this to negate the monster that summons the Mirror Jade. We'll see if that's good enough. Opponent making a Rin Brum. A Rin Brum is a monster negate. Uh, that negates our effect, so we cannot get Yoinkify in. We can force the negate 
with the Yoinkify and then negate the Yoinkify negate. We'll see if that works out. Opponent getting Fallen Albaz. Fusion summoning the Lublion. Lublion is here. We can try and negate the Lublion. Opponent can't stop it. So Lublion has stopped the Mirror Jade getting summoned. Uh, now we can try and get Yoinkify, but opponent going to negate our Yoinkify. And that's going to pop our Unchained Soul of Rage, maybe. No, it shuffles, of course. It does not pop. It negates, and then it returns a monster from the field to the hand. So that does not trigger our Unchained Doggo, which would let him let us pop. Also, opponent has another triple tactics, stealing our monster, and they did not summon five times, so we cannot activate Nibiru. We really got <laughs> the double tri triple tactics talent really got us there, uh, and that is lethal damage on us with our own poor Doggo Boy. But at least we stopped him from summoning the branded dragon, so that's, you know, moral victory. Let's go on to the next game. On right, to the next game, we got the Illegal Knight, which is our secret tech from the Adventure Engine. We're going to get summoning. We're going to activate our Unchained Twins effect, pop the prison, and start our Unchained combo. But opponent has an Ash Blossom, luckily. We got the Double Called By. Double Called By is here to stop us getting Ash Blossomed. And let us continue our beautiful combos. Illegal Knight is a Fiend, searchable by the Adventure Engine, and bounces two cards back to the hand. Very strong. We get the Illegal Knight, or sorry, we get our Unchained Soul. You're going to use the Illegal Knight to make the Unchained Soul of Yama. We're going to activate, set a card, and add a card to the hand. And at Unchained Twins, set that Unchained Escape. Activate Pop, summon itself, trigger. Summon the other Doggo Boy, link him off into the Yoinker. So now we can Yoink on opponent's turn. And now we have two level threes. We can go into the DDD combo. All right. DDD Stone King Darius, rank up into the Divisor King, which is a negate. Beautiful. Let's pop and resummon. But opponent doesn't want to see it. Opponent is sad by our beautiful combo, and they are done. Well, that is Unchained. Hope you liked it. We're going to go on to some sink or swims, but first we're going to check out the deck list. All right, here is my Unchained deck. As you know, I'm not a big fan of the Maxi, so we're only playing it at two. We got Triple Ash Blossom. We got Triple Unchained Aruha. We got trip Double Unchained Rakea, One Sarama. Two Adventure Engine Starters. Water Enchantress of the Temple. Triple of the Unchained Soul of Sharvara. One Shiana, the blue, the watery Unchained Soul. This is the one you don't want to draw. You want to send it straight to the graveyard from the field. We got the Griffin Rider, the Illegal Knight, the Unchained Soul of Disaster, the Unchained Soul of of Soul. That one's just a soul. One Nibiru, one Foolish, triple of the Prison, two Rights, one Draco back, one Wailing, one Fateful, two Call Buys, one Cross of Designation to, to negate Maxi. We got two Imperms, we got triple of the Escape of the Unchained, and one Abominable Chamber. In the extra deck, we got the DD Stone King Darius, two copies of the High King Wave Caesar, Caesar to use with our level sixes to rank up. One Zeus, one Divisor King, who is a negate. We got a once per chain monster card effect negation. We got two Unchained Soul of Rages, one Dark, one Muckwrecker, one Unchained Soul, sorry, two Unchained Soul of Yama, the new one, Nightmare Unicorn, Unchained Soul of Anguish, Unchained Soul of Anguish, and the Abomination. Nightmare Unicorn is a fiend, so you can summon it on the opponent's turn and get spinning. Very fun action. All right, that's the deck, Unchained. Very fun. Two wolves inside you, all right? You know, wolf number one, wolf number two. You let me know if you got some spicy Unchained decks I can try out. And like I said, uh, not playing the engine with tour guide i know it's strong i know there's a combo with tour guide if you want to see that in another video you let me know look i got the tour guides right here i did it i didn't do it just because i'm poor i just did it because i like the adventure engine let's go on to the sink or swims welcome to sink or swim sink or swim number one we got a reformed duelist formerly our drunk duelist if you watch the channel you know we he sent in a drunk replay where he was drunk and uh, the duel went on forever it was very hilarious I think he ended up winning Sink or Swim. So uh, he's back with a, a non-drunk duel this time. So let's see what happens. 
We got the Goaty Lifeless Sleepfish play into the ship. And we got some Rescue Aces. Very spicy. Foolish Barrel getting hit by a D-Shifter in response Max C. We're being real mean today. Opponent. Can you even play into this? Foolish Burial sending a Despian Tragedy. It's branded. They they tricked us. They wanted that Despian Tragedy to get banished. Searching the Aluber, the Boober. Aluber searching for a uh, brightest blazing branded king. They're going to brand a fusion into the Lubelion. Um, but this banishes their branded fusion, doesn't it? Yeah, it's banished. Can they get it back from face up banished? You let me know. I don't play branded. Opponent discarding. The Brand of Beast, two fusion summon. The old Mirror Jade Dragon, I assume. There he is. Mirror Jade is here. Alright. And this Fire Ace. Very spicy. Can we summon this for free? It summons itself for free, I think. Let's get summoning. Into that Arian post. Banish our Zep. Zep gonna get summoned. Now all our fishes are getting banished. So uh, we'll see how that impacts our plays. White or Will is here. Because it was summoned, not as Chainlink 1, not in response to anything. We get to destroy all attack position monsters opponent controls. Ragecki. Pop that Mirror Jade Dragon. It's going to pop our whale at the end of turn. But we're going to Synchro Summon into a Baron. Uh, we missed the negate on that, though. So what's the Baron doing here? Opponent Sadden. Going to battle. End the turn. We get popped because this is a lingering effect. It activates when the Mirror Jade's popped. And then it resolves at the end of turn. So you can't negate it with Baron, sadly. Would have been better to make a big Chungus here. Do you have the big Chungus? You do. Tisk tisk. Alright. We'll forgive this. Opponent sent two back row. You could have told me you were drunk again. I would have believed it. No disrespect. We got the shift coming back. We're going to normal summon our beauty of Tunaful. The most beautiful of Tunafuls. Lifeless leaf fish banishing the paces. We are still under the effect of our shifter. Again, that Arian post here banishing a Butunaful from the deck. I don't know why we did that. Again, attack it. Sure, this isn't a drunk duel. Asbestos, don't lie to me. I will know if you're drunk. I can see. I can see it in the plays. Fish is coming back to the field. Fire Hydrant Attacker can activate and summon itself if a card is added to opponent's hand except by drawn. Opponent, you added a Bishu Lubellion. Uh, are we going to activate that Fire Attacker? Nope, we're holding on to it. All right. Summoning the Gadden Quim. Opponent, activating. Sending a Fallen Alabash from deck to the graveyard. We got the effect to finish and then banish the whole field. Which is very good against Branded and most decks. Most decks do not like getting their entire field banished. Opponent, Branded and Redding. Setting a bunch of cards. Oh, opponent. You know what's going to happen when you do this. As can here. Opponent, oh wait, hold on. They got sneaky play. Guy and Quim. Banishing or activating to summon a card from the graveyard. We get searching with that Ariane post. Opponent. Responding with the Blazing Cartesia. Quick effect fusion summon. Fusion summoning the Gangrenol. Gangrenol is here. We get the Zep in the hand. Opponent. Chain is resolving. They're summoning the Fallen Albaz, but there's no monster on the field for them to fuse with. Unless they can fuse with a Paces, can they? I don't know what Brandon can do. They're discarding a card of fuse. We'll see if they can. As can come back. Oh, it's going to come back first. So opponent's going to be able to fuse with our as can. That's not ideal. Could have left it in the banish zone. Opponent making a mirror jade. There we go. Everything resolving. We're going to Snopios. Sneak on in. And that banished. You saw it. We banished the zip from our hand. That's going to summon itself and synchro summon. Opponent, you can respond right now with this mirror jade. Stop us from doing this play, but they're not stopping. Synchro Summon with the Paces. Uh, Synchro Summon. The Azcan. Uh, not sure why we summoned the Azcan here. Could have just left it and Synchroed with our Zep, and then in response to Mirror Jade activation, Synchro Summon with the the old uh, the old Paces. All right, so you know what? I have decided you are actually drunk while dueling again. Or I get to lay off the liquor. You can be better. Brightest Blazing, gonna activate, negate the effects of face-up cards on the field. We, there was nothing we could do. We were, we were stopped in our tracks. Opponent, summoning Gaiden Quim. Hitting our Zep. Hitting our Fish. What are we gonna do? We didn't summon our Fire Attacker. Opponent, 
they use their mirror jade activation? No, they didn't. They still got mirror jade. Official Bangna Hut. The Pizza Hut is here. This is turn zero goatees though. It's pretty fun. We're gonna summon the shift instantly. Synchro summon the Excel. Axel activate. Opponent responding with the guiding quem. Summoning from the graveyard. Activating the mirror jade. Summoning or banishing a card. And we're not responding. Excel Stardust is gone. We gotta be running out of cards here. Get our paces. Finish two fish. Summon the Snopios. Target itself. Activate the effect the Azcan when it's banished to summon itself by banishing a fish. Come on, goaties. I believe in you. Fire Tiger just chilling in the hand. Opponent. Fusion summoning the Taxman Dragon. Taxman Dragon will burn us for 600 every time we do anything. Luckily, we're only going to do one thing. We're going to slap it. No more taxes. That's how you That's how you win the tax game. Ruddy Rose Dragon is here. What does this do? Banish all cards from the graveyard. And that is what it does. Banish all cards from the graveyard. Tax Dragon is trying to sneak himself back onto the field. Branded in red is activating to Fusion Summon, or at least add an Albaz back to the hand. Um, and Ruddy Rose Dragon going to banish the whole graveyard. Is that going to trigger, trigger our fishes? We'll just have to find out. Tax Dragon no longer charges taxes because he was not properly Fusion Summoned. Opponent. And in the turn, all their branded cards got banished. We get a Bishal Drew Swarm in the hand. Paces come back. Shift come back. Opponent. No Mirror Jade activation. They activate on our turn. Can't activate on our turn and their turn. Falling all about activating. Let's shift it up. Uh, shift going to let us Synchro Summon, but they can just steal the monster we Synchro Summon since we're doing it in response. Oh, but we're Paces-ing in response to the response. Synchro Summon. Deep. Go to the Deep Beyond. But, um... If opponent knows what they're doing, they're just going to steelify the Goaty the Deep Beyond before it can resolve. So we won't get to beneath the field. Look how thick this boy is. Let's see what happens. Maybe opponent doesn't know what he does. Opponent. Yoink in the Deep Beyond. Let's see, this is what I said was going to happen. You got to stop drunk dueling, my friend. Titan Clad is here. Uh, we're going to banish our Goaty the Deep Beyond. But he was not banished from the field. I believe... He has to be banished from the monster zone to resummon himself. So we gotta we gotta do that again. Alright? Not good enough that first time. Bishal Drewsworm is here. Our Snowpios is here. We got some fishes in the graveyard. They're gonna come back later. Snowpios target Titan Clad. We're gonna survive some damage. Mirror Jade can activate again on our turn, so Owen still has interaction. Drewsworm. Oh, there goes Mirror Jade. Opponent triggered the Druid Swarm. Got carried. We, we tried to drunk duel our way out of this, but now we got more rescue aces. This is some spice. Should I start playing turn zero rescue ace goaties? Impulse is here. Fire attacker is here. Targeting the Titan clad to negate it. Going into the Deep Beyond. Banishing the field or no? Why banish the field when our Deep Beyond is 1750 attack points? That is extreme lethal damage. Thick fish. All right, that was a very amazing drunk duel. I know you said you weren't drunk, but I, I don't believe it. If you think you won, vote in the comments or in the description of the video. Sorry, there's a link to the poll. You let me know if this won. But first, we got Synchro Swim number two. On to the next Synchro Swim. We got Umi Control. Love to see it with some Dogmatica Punishment Bob. Um, get a nicer field, Bob. You can afford it. I'm going to go in first playing Bonfire. This is Snake Eyes. Umi going second against Snake Eyes. That, I want to see this. Now, we're going to fast forward Snake Eyes because we all know it by now. They, they wombo combo. They got a very long combo. And they set up usually a bunch of negates. But we'll see. We got no interaction except, obviously, we got some going second cards. Raigeki. And if we can Umi, opponent will not be able to summon things. Could be could be something that could happen. Opponent. Going to wombo combo quite a lot. Now, Snake Eyes, it's a very strong deck. But it does have a long, very long, very linear combo. That is the biggest complaint about it. Um, if you're going to make a deck Konami that is very strong, going first and second, and it's combo deck, make the combo short. No one wants to see 1,000-year combos. Drowning that Ice Bear, not going to do too much, but Rageki, 
going to pop the cards on the field. Opponent didn't make any negates. What are you doing, opponent? Where's your Appaloosa? Opponent summoned a Poplar. In response to get it immediately wiped by the Ragaki. And now they control no fire monsters. Oh. Uh, just kidding. They're going to special summon a bunch of everything. And everything's going to float. Opponent. You just got three set back row. Which could be interaction or could be nothing. Snake Eyes. Could be playing some Imperms. But we'll see. Poplar and uh, Fla Snake Eyes. Actually going to add to the hand. Yeah, Flamber's Dragon when it dies, uh, it pluses four. Ooh, Rescue Ace. That's cool. Opponent adding Sinful Spools to the hand. So these could be Rescue Ace traps that do nothing. Jellyfish is here. Getting negated. What do we do from here? We got Dogmatica Punishment. And we can set up our Sea Stealth Block. Do we have Pacifist? We do. We are Pacifist Chats. Opponent. Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. Getting Die Bell Star to the hand. We're going to activate on the Standby Phase. Activate our Pacifist. We got Jelly Negate. We got opponent can't attack into our level 5 or higher monsters. Opponent trying to uh, back robify our jellyfish. We're going to negate that and boost our attack points. Does deal with the jellyfish though. Sinful Spoil is very strong. Giving us a token. Token is here. Giving us a search. Opponent doesn't know that the search does nothing. Opponent also doesn't know. Promethean Princess is going to activate pop our jelly. Save the jelly. Does the princess still summon? If the jelly isn't isn't there, let's find out. Pops and summons. All right, princess is here. Opponent, snake eyes, satin in the back row, activating the harpy feather duster. Well, that's gonna force the dogmatica punish. Can't activate the ice bear sadly, but we can get popping. Pop this old Promethean princess. We sent to the graveyard. Hold on a second. Dogmatical Punish. Target a face-up monster. Send a monster with equal or higher attack from your extract to the graveyard, and then if you do, destroy that monster. What did we send? Super Doom King. Does this do anything in the graveyard? Discard in the monster zone is destroyed. Oh, this does nothing. Alright, we're just we're just playing big monsters in the graveyard. Alright. Putting big monsters. He's big. Okay. I get it. He's big. Pacifus. Triggering, because they popped our token. We get another token. Thank you very much, opponent. Not once per turn. Opponent. Pop Lauren. Getting back their subversion. Summoning a Rescue Ace Airlifter. Getting the Rescue Ace HQ. Activating the Sinful Spoils. Getting the old Fire Hydrant from the deck. Getting the Rescue Ace Turbulence. But can Rescue Ace Snake Eyes get through a single 2000 attack token? Uh, oh my goodness. Opponent going into Assemble Nightingale and Die Bell Star Black Witches here. Again, another secret of the Sinful Spools going to battle. Attacking directly for a couple pecs. Just two pecs into a downward. Into a, a Zeus. Uh, a very big Zeus. With four materials. That's two wipes. Opponent end the turn. Jelly is back. Opponent did not wipe in their turn. That means Jelly is live to negate this Zeus. But only once. Opponent can activate. Activate again. See what we can do. General Raiho is here. We're gonna activate to summon opponent firing off Maxi. How do we how do we possibly get out of this situation? Sinful Spool is activating to add a Diabell Star. Zeus is gonna activate and wipe. Are we gonna negate? We're negating the first Zeus wipe. Opponent. In response wiping again, but opponent, you activated your Zeus before the Umi boy was on the field. That means you're wiping. And then everything's going to be gone except Umi Boy. That doesn't seem too smart. Save. Save the jellyfish. Opponent. Oh, they always think. I've seen this so many times. Opponents call by the grave and try and banish the jellyfish while he's swimming in the banish zone. I think they think that it's hitting in the graveyard. It is not. Uh, we're going to activate our ice barrier right now. To add a water monster to our hand, which we can summon with the jellyfish. If we want, the Mega Fortress Wheel instead. Opponent. Gonna wipe everything. Wiping it up. Jellyfish negate the Zeus. And Zeus wipe the field. And Diabell Star back to the hand. And we get to resolve our first Jellyfish effect. 
summon the Ocean Dragon Lord. Oh, get, get back that Snake Eyes Blamber Dragon. We get our Cecil to attack an opponent. Um, you're not going to be allowed to summon anything unless they have the Snake Eyes Subversion again. We'll see. Can they, can they turn our boy Oceany Dragon the Lord into a back row? Pacifus is our Umi. Jellyfish Negate is live. Opponent not allowed to summon anything that is not a water monster. Token is here. We get the fake search. Opponent Ash is the fake search. They didn't pay attention earlier when it resolved and did not search for anything. <laughs> Love that mandatory search. That's the the Ash play old Ash Blossom check. Would you like to negate my search for nothing? It'll let me know if you try that in paper and it works. Opponent. Activate Bonfire. Not allowed to summon that. Opponent. Going to battle. Attacking the Jellyfish. We're going to save the Jellyfish. Opponent. Not reading. Pop in their own Zeus. Going to Mate Phase 2. Summoning a Turbulence. Ooh, that is the out. Turbulence. Set in 4 back row. That is pretty good. Set in the Rescue Ace uh, Charcuterie Board. Alert. Contain. Extinguish. They're all here. Shuffle them up. Activate the Rescue Ace HQ and the turn. How does Umi get out of this situation? We got one to get with the Jelly. Foolish Barrel Goods. We're going to activate. If you can clear the Turbulence, that will stop them from being able to activate the Rescue Ace cards. Except I'm pretty sure one of them was a Rescue. It means they can summon the Turbulence back from the graveyard. So we'll see. Opponent containing the Jelly. We're going to dodge. Alright. Jelly not contained. Jelly will resolve. Jelly summon the Whale. Activate the Whale. We can attack directly this turn. Activate Foolish Burial Goods. Send the Ice Barrier. Tribute summon the token. Regeneral Raiho opponent extinguishing our Umi Dragon. Umi Dragon's hopes and dreams are extinguished. But we got the search. Sea Stealth 2. Activate Sea Stealth 2. Go to battle. Attack directly. Resummon our Ocean Dragon Lord. But he's just chilling for a second. He is not here permanently. Opponent. We got Jelly Negate, but you're not waterlocked anymore. You can summon all the snake eyes you want. And they're definitely going to do it. Die Bell Star. Snake Eyes Clamper's Dragon. Not negating with a jelly. I feel like that'd be a good negate, but who knows? General Raiho making him discard a card because they activate Monster Effect on field, but they're sending the Simple Sports Subversion. Going to probably send General Raiho to the back row zone. But first, they're going to activate two cards, which means they have to get discard two cards. General Raiho forcing them to do things. Discard. Add. These are plus zeros now instead of plus ones. Uh, discard. Add. We made them fair. We made them a fair deck. Opponent, Sinfo Spoils. Send a General Raiho to the back row zone. I don't think so. Jellyfish Negate. Uh, you're going to have to do all of that while discarding cards. We'll see if they can. Nightmare Phoenix is here. Spinning. Umi. Opponent. You probably should just spin the Sea Stealth, but who can? Okay. All right. Opponent, spin in our Umi. We're going to dodge the Jelly. Jelly is being dodged. Not sure why we did that in response to that either. We didn't need to do that. Uh, opponent choosing not to not to discard. So Nightmare Phoenix does not spin the Umi. Alright. Opponent. Shuffling back in to draw a card. Activate call by to banish our boy. Oceany Dragony Lord is gone. And he is negated. For two turns. Very sad. But we get a token and consolation prize. Token. Fake search. Rescue Ace Hydrant is here. Alert is here. Opponent, are you going to activate your Hydrant? Not yet. Rescue is here. Rescuing. The Rescue Ace Impulse. Impulse activating. Discarding a card to activate him. Negating the effect of the whale. Ooh, excess hood talker. Accessing the codes. Now, this is a funny thing that people don't know. They activate their access code 30 times, trying to pop the token each time he gets resummoned. Opponent. Drawing a card. Sorry, adding a fire hydrant to the hand. And activating the access code to pop. Got a discard. Pop in general, Raiho, he did so much work there. Hydrant. Getting the turbulence. Activating. Setting. Got a discard. Oh wait, no, we don't got a discard no more. Raiho's gone. Opponent 
setting all our traps. And this is really hard for Umi to fight through. Opponent. Pop in the whale. Whale going to trigger. Do we have another General Raiho? We do. He goes back to the hand. And no attacks. They read. I don't believe it. They actually read Sea Stealth Attack. Jelly is here. Fish Sonar is here. Jelly activate. Contain. Containing the jelly. We're going to dodge. Get General Raiho online. But what do we do when they pop General Raiho? We know they can do it. We're going to activate our Fish Sonar. We're going to get our Oceany Dragony Lord. We're going to go straight to battle. We're going to get our Whale. We're going to attack. Pop the Turbulence. Pop. And now their back row is gone. They don't have a Rescue Ace. They can't activate it. Summon our Dragon Lord. Opponent alerting. You can't summon it. You can't summon it because you can't. You control excess code. The talker is here. Blocking your field. No activation on the Dragon Lord. We got Negate. We got Raiho. We got Ocean Dragon Lord. Opponent. Activating. Discard a card. Pop in the Raiho. Activating. Banishing itself. Pop in the Dragon Lord. We, we didn't activate Sea Cell to dodge. Opponent. Rescue is Fire Hydrant is here. Get negated. Opponent. Extinguishing the jelly. Jelly is popped. We're saving the jelly. Jelly, the key card? I wouldn't have thought that, but what do I know? Maybe I'm not a pro. Maybe Bob is the pro. Fire Hydrant negated. Opponent. Shuffling their traps back into the deck. Drawing a card. Turbulence is here. That was a very lucky draw, opponent. But if they go to battle, our Umi is going to activate. Opponent really messed up when they chose not to shuffle with that uh, old Link 2 Nightmare Griffin or whatever. Reset in the back row. Activating, going to battle. Alert is here, getting back the second turbulence. Going to battle, triggering. We get our whale. We get to pop. Pop the turbulence. An opponent not willing to fight it out. Can't fight through the whale. Love to see it. Umi grind game. Well, you guys vote which duel was the best duel in the poll. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night. And I'll see you next time.